How's it going, Juju? Uh, how are you approaching this spring practice with a limited number of scholarship running backs in the room? How are they kind of looking at your reps as compared to everybody else? Um, I feel like we all have equal opportunity when it comes to reps and things of that nature. Um, yeah, I guess you could say we are kind of on the short end when it comes to scholarship running backs, but um, I feel like everyone in our room has the potential to be game changers in the running back room for the University of South Carolina. So um, it's, it's really been like a balance, you know. Um, nobody in our room has really had a dominant role here yet, so I feel like it's um, a test of testimonies, if you will. Juju, what have you seen uh, from DeCarion? Obviously, you said guys that haven't had big roles. He hasn't had a big role in running back. Uh, what have you seen from him so far? Um, nothing much, but um, him being most grateful, you know. Um, yeah, I know everybody's looking at uh, at it from the outside as you know controversial with moving him to running back after being moved to receiver after quarterback, but he's embracing his role. And if anybody, maybe if anybody on the team that's embracing their role right now, he's doing it to the fullest of his potential and he's taking advantage of every opportunity and leaving nothing left on the table. So I can't say I'm proud of, uh, proud of him for that. Juju, four or three or four spring practices and what are your impressions of Coach Loggins now that you've seen him on the field and, and what this offense has looked like? Uh, that's my guy. Uh, uh, very team player oriented. Um, like I mentioned to someone earlier before, um, it's rare that you see a guy like that, especially in his position, with as much patience as he presents with the team and the offensive core when it comes to getting everything handled and getting everything in check, knowing that, his, it, that he hasn't been here long and he's earning our trust as well as we're doing the same for him. But um, like I mentioned, uh, patience has been a big key for him, and I feel like he's um, taking advantage of every every player out there on the field and using our assets to the best of the team. Uh, we're talking about the running back room a second ago. How about Mario Anderson Jr.? What's your kind of dynam dynamic been like with him so far since he got here? Oh, he's a little monster. You know what I'm saying? Um, another guy in the room, along with DK, that came in not knowing what the role was to be expected, but. Like I said, that's what we're here for in the spring, and um, he's also been embracing his role, his role fully. Um, a lot of people had questions about him coming in, um, coming from division, or whatever, or another division. But Mario is a football player, you know. Um, there's some things you can teach, and at the end of the day, you can't teach somebody how to be a football player, let alone a running back at that. And he's a terrific one, so you got to give him his props. I think it was Shane who said last week that instead of teaching all the offense a little bit step by step, that they're throwing a ton at you guys to to see what y'all can handle and kind of see what sticks. What what have uh, how how's that process gone gone for you guys? Um, it's going well, you know. Uh, just as any other team has uh, different things to implement in the spring, uh, we do also so. You know, like I mentioned, with Coach Loggins having uh, a tremendous amount of patience with us as a team and different position groups, we shouldn't have any problem adjusting to the playbook. How much has Coach Loggins talked to you and shown you like the types of things you'll be doing, like whether it's on film or in the meeting room, then obviously on the practice field as well? All the time, you know. Every time I see him, uh, Either I'm saying something to him or he's approaching me about something, but it's always positive. Um, you know, we, we communicate on a daily basis, and that's my guy, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, very char um, charismatic, um, tremendous amount of character within the guy, so it's not a difficult thing to be able to relate to him, you know, so it's smooth. Hey, Juju, um, going back to DK for a second, you know, you mentioned how he's come in and embraced being a running back first. What does that say about the type of guy that DK is? And then, two, going back to Spencer and Juice when they came back, when they announced they were coming back, describe um, your emotions when you found out they were going to come back. Um, okay, so about DK, you know, that just lets me know he's a, a very team-oriented guy. Um, that lets me know I can put a lot of trust and loyalty within a, a guy like that. Doing tasks that we're asking him to do off the simple thought 
of just being able to play the game of football. He does it off the love of the game of football. And it says a lot about him as a man, especially with him. Um, giving him props, congratulations to him with his newborn daughter. Um, it says a lot about him, him being able to take on that role and take on another role inside the football area, along with doing the things necessary outside the building. It says a lot about a man, you know, a lot of things will make a lot of people break, but he, he never seems to fold or bend. So, you know, I'm proud of him for that. And uh, man, I remember, I think I was on the phone with those guys. Um, matter of fact, it was right after the Clemson game. Uh, I ran into the locker room. First person I see was Spencer. He all lit. Ah, ah, ah. I'm like, okay, cool, okay, yeah. So I'm just looking at him. He got the little cigar in his hand. He was like, hey, Drew, come here. So I walk over there. I'm like, what's good, bro? He looked at me like this. He dapped me up. He was like, I'll see you next year. I'm like, you playing with me, bro. He's like, we'll talk. I'm like, bro, don't do that, bro. You know, I ain't got time to be playing. So we was talking on and off uh, between then and uh, their decision. And I was, um, me and Bre um, Juice spoke briefly multiple times. And, you know, we all hang out a lot. So it was kind of uh, a questionable debate for everybody. Everybody was on the edge of their seats with that one. But um, the day they decided to come back, uh, I don't know if they were moving off each other or what, but they announced it at the same time. I called them boys. As soon as I answered the phone, the juice just like, yeah, man. So I knew what time it was then, yeah. Them boys ready to come back for another ride. Jude, you're looking at what uh, Dowell Loggins has brought into the offense. What's the biggest change that you've seen thus far from last year? Um, the biggest change from last year? Honestly, maybe just uh, the system personnel. You know, of course you're gonna lose players to the draft transfer portal. It is what it is. Um, but that's typical for any um, college football team. So you just gotta adapt and move on from that and make things better. So, Juju, I know you guys gotta replace at least a couple of starters offensively, but but at least at the skill positions, bring back most of the guys that contributed last year, or a lot of guys that contributed last year. I guess when you have that sort of base of guys, whether it's you or Juice or Spencer or whoever, I mean, how much does that help when you guys are trying to, you know, learn a new offense but also improve on what you guys did last year? Um it helps a lot, you know. Uh, like I mentioned earlier about the carry on. Um it puts trust in the eyes of a lot of guys. And um, not even necessarily leadership roles, um, but in times of darkness or when you're at a dead end and you don't know where to go, there's a there. Those are the guys that you look for for inspiration, for um, an extra chip, you know, you know, an extra push, or just something to help out with with your gathering of the knowledge of the game, you know. So it, it makes it a lot bit easier, especially with us having the bond that we have inside the locker room. There's nothing for anybody, uh, a specialist or a defensive guy to just go talk to Spencer or something and ask him a question about life. So, of course, it translates when we're on the field. I guess Coach Beamer kind of talked about so many new faces in this program, whether it's coaches, support staff, players from the portal. You're one of the old heads in this building now, it feels like. what What's been your role in trying to get these guys assimilated and, and just – get this team chemistry to where it, it needs to be as you go into the off season. Don't tell me that, man. <laughs> Please don't tell me that. <laughs> um, but I feel like my role has been the same as always been. You know, I feel like my biggest thing for me is keeping my composure of the game, you know, um, adjusting, adapting to certain things, but maintaining who I really am on and off the field. You know, I feel like me being consistent of being who I am and doing what I do on the field is a piece of what gives, you know, part of the team the drive that we have, you know, and it, like I mentioned earlier, me being consistent allows other guys to have a little bit more trust in me and it, like, it gives me a step forward as far as being able to be open and be more of a vocal physical leader to those guys when they see me doing the same thing over and over and over and over. And, you know, it's something that coaches, the coaches are preaching and trying to instill in us too. Of course, it's going to rub off eventually. 
Jerron Willis, what's it been like kind of being here with him? And have you guys gotten to meet yet in tackling drills or anything like that? <laughs> um, it's been cool, man. Um, it's been real heartwarming. You know, of course, when you, you see somebody from from your area of upbringings doing good for themselves and being productive in this game of life, you know, of course, it's heartwarming. But I'm proud of the kid, man. I'm glad he's able to be a new addition to our team as well. Um, we met in a couple of drills, not head up yet, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe in the spring game, he's not gonna win though. But yeah. Thank you. Thank you.